Hey everyone and Buen Camino. I am coming to you from the Via de la Plata. I have been on this route for a couple of days now and I am going to be diverting onto the Camino San Abres. So the Via de la Plata, um, a few stages after Zamora, it kind of either goes straight up to Astorga, the Via de la Plata, you can continue it all the way or you take a left on the Camino San Abres, that'll take you to Santiago. So that is currently where I am. I have been here for not quite two weeks, um, but I started, you know, like a week and a half ago on the Camino Baztan, and then I walked a bit at the Camino Frances, and now this is kind of my last, last bit of the walk to Santiago. And Oh, it's been such a good time. It's so good to be back. Hasn't been without its challenges. Um, I have been taking a lot of video because of course I'm gonna be putting the stages that I walk. I'll be making videos of those. Um, but for now, it is, I think I've mentioned this in a post, it's too much work for me or maybe too much um, more than I'm willing to do to <laughs> try to edit those in the evenings and put them together and upload them. So uh, there haven't been many updates from me <laughs> from the trail, but those will be coming once I finish walking. But I thought I would take this opportunity on a beautiful morning. Let me kind of turn around and show you. The sun is rising. This is the path I'm walking on. Just totally straight and flat. Oh, but it's really beautiful. Um, on these stages, I've been trying to start really early because it gets so hot in the afternoon. And, and it could be a lot worse. It's actually not that bad. But um, these stages now, there isn't any shade. So you're really, really walking in the sun for hours. Um, anyway, so I did just want to kind of remind everyone again that if you want to try to follow this Camino more in real time because I'm not doing a lot of updates here on YouTube, um, you could go to my Instagram. This has been kind of one of my priorities as I walk these last few years to do daily write-ups of my days. Uh, writing is always and has always been so important to me and is almost really the number one way that I still want to tell the stories of my Camino. So I'm doing write-ups on Instagram and sharing photos of the day-to-day -day. and the link for the Instagram is in the description of this video and then also if you want to be a patron of kind of Nadine walks so this channel the stuff I share on Instagram um, you are welcome to do so over on patreon I am trying to get like these quick little videos up usually every couple of days every two or three days sometimes i run into challenges with um not having wi-fi or the videos not connecting or uploading um but every couple of days i'm trying to get an update there so patreon it's just a place where you can sort of pledge a dollar amount per month to help support me, this channel, my journeys, my writings. Um, so that's there. You certainly don't have to do it, but I am so appreciative of everyone who is supporting there and just everyone who has been following along and sending words of encouragement. It means a lot to me, especially because this route is quiet right now. <laughs> the Via de la Plata is... You know, it's a slightly more popular Camino route, but you'll see a lot of pilgrims here in the spring. Right now it is late July and I am the only walking pilgrim <laughs> in these stages or in my stages anyway. I've met a few, Camino, uh, few pilgrims who are doing the Camino on bike and I know there are a few pilgrims ahead of me and probably behind me, but so far on these stages, it's just been me. So it is a quiet and kind of lonely Camino, but there, you know, it gives me lots of time to be with myself and my thoughts and to just notice everything that is going on around me. Oh, and this is such a beautiful morning. Okay, one more little view 
of this sunrise and the path. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, everyone. Well, thank you as ever for following along. And I will try to be back with another update or two here before my walk ends.